to DIY Solar Homestead. So I've been playing. I switched out the charge controller. I believe that's a 60, maybe it's a 50 amp, but it should be holding. But you see the light on the left is not illuminated. So that's supposed to be for charge. So yeah, that should be good for 12 and 24. That's a big one. So anyway, I swapped the other one out and put it on the other board. So, in here, you can see I am running the grow room of this one and the bedroom. The bedroom's going to be off grid forever. That's the refrigerator. We got a great amount of sunlight yesterday and today. So, it's no longer sunny now, but I got the most amount. I love using the flashlight instead of pushing that button. 2.1 kilowatts so far today. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, thanks to Southeast Ohio Solar Haven. So, the big blues are wired in pairs, series in pairs. So that was his suggestion, and now that's the most amount of kilowatts I've made so far. So that's amazing. Thanks, brother. Thanks, solar brother. Now, South Ohio Solar Homestead knows what that is. He shot one. He don't like those. <laughs> he just shot it. He was so mad. <laughs> so, that might go on the 12 volt. I don't know yet. I didn't do much back here, but I started cleaning. So, I got, I got a lot cleaned up, swept and everything. But there's two charge controllers right there. And I don't understand the one on the top, so I'm going to hook it all up into this one. That'll be fine. So the 120 watt solar panels are in series right now. I think it will put them back and run them through here. But Southern Ohio Solar Homestead gave that to me. So I'll probably be calling him soon. But right now I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to get this. Get this bad boy running right here. That's beautiful. Block the light. That is just amazing. I think I saved five hundred dollars of instead of making cables just by running those rails. Next it'll be copper. <laughs> copper rails. But that'll be down the road. So who would want to do a collaboration? Well I run down past Columbus. I'll be heading that way in a week or two. You let me know. We'll do a collaboration, and we'll do our magic. We'll share each other's channels out there, help each other grow. I know three people I want to visit so far, and you guys know who you are. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there, but those uh, 120 watts, no, 320 watt solar panels are $200 each. I've seen them way more expensive than this. I've seen used ones for this price, but supposedly the guy bought everything he needed. These were excess. They're brand new, said he had storage. That'll be my Christmas present with the with the bonus that I'm getting from work, the profit sharing. We call it the Christmas bonus. <laughs> but there will be more panels soon. And uh, I'm still experimenting. I'm waiting for the voltage to go down. Maybe the voltage is up too high for that to charge. I don't know. But that might be the, might not be there very much longer. I might just take that off there. That might just be 12 volts. Then it'll go on the next board. I can get three solar arrays on that board. That'll be fine. It'll all work. I'll make sure of that. Just no matter what I do, 
the refrigerator has to go on this. That other one was bar bought from Harbor Freight. I believe it's one to two thousand watts. That's not a big enough. Uh, uh, I can't think of it. But um, yeah, that's. I wouldn't put the refrigerator on it. I did it maybe a year ago. It ran the refrigerator just fine, but I found out some things about the Harbor Freight Jupiter that, yeah, I wouldn't trust that on my refrigerator. So that surge, it don't have a big enough surge on it. Has the pure sine wave, has everything on it to protect all of the electronics in the house to include the furnace. And I did find out that a lot of people well, they go to service your, your your furnace, they appreciate an outlet right there. You can plug in right there. That way they can, they can just flip the switch or unplug it right on the spot. And that's where I'm going to set up for solar. So I could have a plug on it and I could plug the, the furnace in to the, the house electric or I could plug it into the solar because when the power goes out, DIY is going to have power to run the furnace, I hope. The last two weeks I didn't make a whole lot of power <laughs> because the clouds were crazy. But we're going to do the best we can with what we got. But that would be one more option. Instead of running the refrigerator on a power outage, I'll be running the furnace. But we also have a couple of these when it gets cold down here when we're working. Anyway, I'm still prepping for just such an occasion. And I want you to have... A nice solar day.